What's happening, people, is James Beardwell, the Witten Town supporter here, and welcome back to another Witten Town FC match day vlog. Witten Town are home to Stowe Market Town in the Ismin League North Division. I am buzzing for tonight's game after last Saturday's fantastic 3 2 win against the second place team Felix Stowe and Walter United. And now we've got to focus on tonight's game, which is the most important one. And Stowe Market Town are currently in 19th rock bottom with only two points. And we're currently in 16th on 11 points, which we moved up to 16th after that fantastic win against Felix Stone, Walter United last Saturday. And like I said, we've got to focus on tonight's game. And a Whitton Town win could potentially go into 12th in the league. But it depends on the other results. But we're not going to worry about the other results. We're just going to worry about ourselves for tonight's game. And I'm really excited for the, for the game against Stowe Market Town. And, and I'm confident that Whitton Town will make it three wins on the spin. As long as we keep up the fantastic Whitton Town Home support, as always, like we did on Saturday against Felix Stowe and Walter United. And, and we're going to take it from last Saturday's win into tonight's game. And I'm excited and I'm confident we'll get another win for Witten Town. And now I'm about to put my way to the Witten Town Football Club to get ready for the Witten Town home match against Stowe Market Town very shortly. I'm currently now arrived at the Batsford Court Weatherspoons for my pre-match meal and I'm going to have the usual chicken tikka masala and I'm now about to get ready to enjoy my meal before I head to the Whitton Town Football Club to get ready for the Whitton Town home match against Stowe Market Town. I'm now arrived at the Whitton Town Football Club to get ready for the huge Whitton Town home match against Stowe Market Town in the Isthmian League North Division. I'm buzzing for tonight, I'm really excited and I've just finished my pre-match meal down at the Batsford Court earlier on and I'm just waiting for my mates of fellow Whitton Town supporters to arrive to do the pre-match thoughts, half-time thoughts and full-time thoughts as always. And let's hope it'll be a fantastic evening. I'm now with the fellow Whitton Town fan, Alfie. Hello, mate. Good, thank you. Looking forward to the game against Stone Market Town tonight? Yeah, looking really forward to it. Um, great win Saturday. Massive confidence boost, two on the bounce now. So hopefully we can make it three tonight against Rock Bottom. And uh, start climbing that league. 100% that was a fantastic win against Felix Stone Walter United and we turned the corner and we're confident for tonight's game to hopefully make it three wins on the spin. Exactly, yeah, I don't think uh, many people would have predicted the score for Saturday's game being 3-2 to us, but we showed mm. good character. One nil down within three minutes, I thought to myself it was going to be a cricket score. I thought, oh, here we go again. Um, but However, the boys dug in, great second half, three goals in the game as well, so it looks like the Ilford goals came into this goal into the game on Saturday as well and uh, we scored even more goals so yeah we'll see how it goes tonight be a good game but hopefully we can uh, get the win and now we're coming to the score prediction what's your score prediction now, I'm gonna go 3-0 Witten I'm gonna be positive as well I'm going 4-0 Witten Town love it love it thank, thank you so much for your time Alfie and up the town up the town up the town Right, Harry. Right, James, how are we? Are you looking forward to the game today? Yeah, buzzing, mate, buzzing. I'm now with the another fellow Whitton Town supporters, Rick and Laura. Hi, James. Hi, James. <clears throat> Hi guys. I'm look, we're looking forward to the, to the game against Stone Market Town and we'll hopefully get another victory after that fantastic 3-2 win against second place Felix Stone, Walter United. And the players still got to put 150% in. It was a great game. Second half, absolutely superb. First half, nothing to shout about, but we kept going. We kept going. We kept every ball 
come up off the keeper, he chased it, and that's how he scored our three goals, our two goals. And the second, third goal, absolutely brilliant. And he had, he was my man in the match as well. Yeah, great King, game. that was a fantastic third goal from Kingy. I think it was about forty yeah. yards for that third goal against Felix Stone Walter United. That was a fantastic victory, and hopefully, we'll make it three wins on the spin tonight. Yeah, buzzing for tonight. Uh, I've been all day actually. I've been really excited all day. Um, obviously, what I've just heard, we haven't got a very strong squad tonight, so that's a little bit of a, a bit of a worry. But you know, we, we, we you know we've got we've got to win, and they've got to win. Mm. So again, like Reg said, we've got to come out from yeah. the go like we yep. finished on Saturday. We've yep. got to come out like that, and we have just got to give it all our all, haven't we? Mm. Um, but I, I must say the fans were amazing on Saturday. Mm. We were absolutely buzzing. We had our drum going. We had that <coughs> little blowy thing going off. Mm. You were singing your heart out. So we were the 12th man and I think we're going to need it tonight as well. On this cold night. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah, it's got to continue the fantastic support like we did on Saturday against Felix Stone, Walter United. And we got to get behind the manager, Gary Kimball, tonight because because we'll hopefully make it three wins on the spin. And um, I'm really positive for tonight that we can do it. And you positive for tonight as well? We need we need a good good result tonight. So it keeps the momentum going because we've got another tough game against Grays as well, haven't we, next Friday? On Friday, mm. yeah. On Friday and away. And we've got some tough games coming up. But if we keep the momentum going... These are beautiful need, games. These yeah, are beautiful more. games. Yeah. And we've so, got to take, get the points and that'll get us mid-table and that'll do us I very nicely. I think if we win tonight, mm. I think it can take us up to 13th. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, if we get three points, potentially. Yeah, potentially. I thought, like I said on, on the intro earlier on, that we could potentially finish about 12th or 13th mm. in the league yeah. if we win against Stone Market. Actually, when we win against Stone Market yeah. Town. Yeah. And, we, don't, um, we don't want it like every season. We don't want to have to worry. We just want to be, do you know what I mean? Mid-table. Mid mm. Do you know what I mean? We're happy for that. Because mm. you know, but um, I absolutely, I must say, absolutely loved Mark's interview with you on Saturday. Mm. He was love Mark, he was absolutely Brilliant. amazing chairman. He came out and said what he thought. Yeah, okay. Some of the fans have been on Gary's back, but you know, if he can turn this round, mm. then we will support him. One hundred percent. That's all that matters. That speech, yeah. that speech at the end for Mark. Oh, it, it, it really choked me. That did I watch it? That choked me as well because yeah. like. But since our previous interview, like yeah. Chairman Mark Nichols, and then I, after I said thank you so much for your time, and then Mark did a brilliant speech. Yeah, absolutely amazing that was. <laughs> and then I nearly got a bit emotional when he yeah. said we still got to support yeah. Gary. Absolutely, and we've all 100%. got our bubble hats on, Mark. Look. Yes, yeah. <laughs> we've got our hats on we as got well. Our hats on. <laughs> but, going back, but going back to what you said, the supporters are right. If, if the team is not playing well, then they're going to get up the tea and they're going to get fed up, aren't they? Especially when you so pay they, good money. They want, they want to see good. Good results, good football, and then they'll be happy. And, and then we will some wins as well. Yeah. And like, like Laura said, the, the atmosphere on Saturday when we scored the third goal. Well, we got mobbed. I was going to leave my drumstick up my nose. <laughs> <laughs> and we, we, des we deserved it Saturday as well because we never gave up, neither. No. And let's hope we get a good atmosphere yeah, exactly. here tonight. Um, <clears throat> you know, let's hope we get our three points. And I hope we will get three points tonight. 100% and like we said we've got to get behind Gary Kimball 100% because he's done a lot as a manager for the Whitton Town Football Club but I know we had some bad results in the previous matches but we've got to get behind Gary yeah, Kimball but, can turn but, it around. but don't you think there have been silly results whereas we've been letting silly goals early on and at, like over Ipswich for instance they weren't brilliant nowhere near we could we should have hammered them well not hammered them but we should have got a draw at least mm. we, only, we didn't turn up first half again you know, second half, they didn't get in our half. Well, one, one they didn't hit the post, and that was it. Mm. That's a hot, you know, and we've got, we got to go from the word go, not from half time. You know, we've had a couple of three or four games like that, even like Laura said, a couple of, uh, against Barry, for instance. We're sitting mm. in the changing room in the first half. You know, second half, we come out, we didn't concede the game. They might again. want to stay in the changing room with how cold it is tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it is you know, freezing. We've got, yeah. got to go from the word go, not just, oh, well, we, we let a goal in, then we'll start playing. It's, you know, it doesn't work like that, does it? You know? Come on, let's get it from the word go, boys, tonight, eh? And now we're coming to the score predictions. What's your score prediction, Rick? 2-0 tonight. What's yours, Laura? Well, I was 4-0. <laughs> right, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but as Mark said, our team isn't that strong. I'm going to go with Rick. I'm going to go 2-0. 2-0? 2-0 to win them. Yeah, 2-0 for us. What about you? James, I know what yours is. You were, <laughs> we were matching. So are you staying at 4? 
I'm going to be still optimistic okay. and I'm feeling positive for tonight. I'm going 4-0 Whitton Town. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Oh, that's that's what he said to me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys that's so big. much. <laughs> no, it's good. <laughs> it'd be lovely if it happened, wouldn't it? If, I, if they win, they win. Even if it's only 1-0, it doesn't matter. It's three points at the end of the day, isn't it? 100%. You know? Yeah, I hope so. Thank you guys so much for your time. Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on. I'm now with the another fellow Whitton Town supporter, Leon. Hi, James. Good, thank you. We're really buzzing for tonight. We're really excited for the game against Stone Market Town. And... We're hoping to make it three wins on the spin. Yeah, definitely. We should definitely beat this um, team tonight. Mm. Um, they're at the bottom of the table. Um, we should easily win this game tonight. Mm. If we don't win this game tonight, then 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 what we what what, what should we do after this game? Yeah, just like um, we, as long as the Whitton Town players got got to put 150 percent in like we would win lose or draw as long as the players just just like Laura said in the previous interview in the pre-match thoughts last Saturday that as long as the Whitton Town players give 150 percent win lose or draw as long as we play football and as long as the players tried and that's all we can ask for yeah definitely and now we're coming to the score predictions what's your score prediction Leon I'm going to have to go three nil Whitton Town I'm going to go 4 0 Whitton Town. Thank you so much for your time, Leon, and up the town. Up, up the town! I'm now with the another fellow Whitton Town supporter, Ben. All right. Good, thank you. This is a big game against Stone Market Town because I know they're bottom of the league, they're fighting for their lives in the Isthmian League North Division, but. I believe we can win comfortably against Stone Market Town as long as the Whitton Town players keep to the same formation light in the second half on Saturday, that 3-2 win against Felix Stone, Walter United, and we should be fine. Yeah, I think the Saturday was amazing, I think. Superb from the lads on Saturday, I think. Superb with the win. Mm. I think if we play like that, no, bring on anyone, pretty much. Mm. Yeah, because as long as like the Whitton Town players keep put 150% in and we must get behind the Whitton Town manager, Gary Kimball, 100%. And like Mark said in the previous full-time thoughts last Saturday, that we still got to support Gary Kimball, 100%, because he's done a lot for the Whitton Town Football Club as manager. And um, I know we had some poor results in the last few weeks, but now this is a turning corner for Whitton Town. And... And as long as we be patient, and then, and the results will go our way. Yeah. And now we're coming to the score predictions. What's your score prediction, Ben? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go big. I'm gonna go six nil Whitton. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go for. Um, I'm going for a big score as well. I'm gonna be really positive. I'm going four nil Whitton Town. Thank you so much for your time, Ben, and up the town. Uh, up the town. <laughs> We're term a massive everywhere we go. We're term a massive everywhere we go. Everywhere we go. One, two, three, four. We're term a massive everywhere we go. We're term a massive. We're term a massive everywhere we go. We're term a massive everywhere we go. Come on, we turn. Come on, we turn. Come on, we turn. Put it on the show. Oh, everywhere we go. Come on, Sam. Everywhere we go. Watch a mighty winter. Everywhere we go, watching mighty Whitton, put it on the show. Whoa! Everywhere we go, 
Go on. Come on, first time, first time. Oh. Boom. Come on. Come on, Darius. Go, Darius. Go on. Go, Darius. Go, Darius. Go, Darius. Say it again. Go, Darius. Go, Darius. Oh. Look at your head on it! Yes! 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 Come on! Come on! Yes! Come on! Yes! 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 Yes, Jerry! Yes! Yes, Paul! Three nil! Three nil! We are tell, come on! Yes! The half time score Whitton Town 4, Stone Market Town 0. The first half, we were absolutely dominated them in the first half and like took four goals very well. And, um, and we got behind our manager, Gary Kimball, 100%. Sang, sang his name loud and proud and because he loves our club Whitton Town to bits from our manager Gary Kimball and we gave him a lot of support and we got the 4-0 win at half time so far and I'm proud for the Whitton Town players and the management staff for putting a fantastic first half. I like Paul said, he, he said that 
we played some great football and and he and he agreed what I said. We've got to keep getting behind our manager, Gary Kimball, 100%. And I am just so proud for the Whitton Town players so far in the first half. And, and like James of JL says, that we absolutely dominated Stowe Market Town, played some fantastic football. It was absolutely superb. And I'm, I am really, really proud and... <laughs> And we still got to get behind our manager, Gary Kimball, because, like I said, he loves our club, Witten Town, to bits. And and we get we got behind him 100% because, like, because he loves it. He absolutely loves it very much. And I have my full support for Gary Kimball, 100%, as always. And let's hope Witten Town will do the same again in the second half. Up the town! We're term a massive everywhere we go. We're to my massive everywhere we go, everywhere we go. One Gary Kimball, there's only one Gary Kimball. 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 Wow, Gary Kimball! Some town get in there. Everywhere we go, watch a mighty winter. Play it on the show. Oh, everywhere we go. One, two, three, four. Winter the best Everywhere we go. Winter the Bastard, everywhere we go, everywhere we go. Winter the Bastard, everywhere we go. Winter the Bastard, everywhere we go, everywhere we go. What well, play are those? Josh! 
second half for Whitton Town but as a whole for first half and second half and that has to be the biggest win in many years for Whitton Town 8-0 that was unbelievable <laughs> yes oh, the players are celebrating that was pretty so yeah it was absolutely go Whoa! Thoroughly deserved. That's the best I've ever seen us play. 8-0. We deserved every single goal. And we probably could be double figures. Um, you know, no disrespect to Stone Market. They're a big club, aren't they, in our league? And it's a shame to see them play like that. But we took full advantage today. We were clinical. We played some incredible football. And every single player there wants to win, mate. 8-0. What result? I'm shocked. Yeah, that's the biggest win of the season and um, I'm absolutely delighted for the players and especially I'm delighted for our Whitton Town manager Gary Kimball because since he came back he turned us around at the club and got us into a winning streak and we've been patient for the last couple of months and we went on to the winning streak. Yeah, I think... Uh... I think they thoroughly deserve that. That was a great performance, best I've seen them play. Bear in mind they've scored six goals in 11 games up until Saturday to get eight in one match and deserve them all. I mean, Stone Market were pretty poor, weren't they? But you can only beat what's put in front of you and the boys. The effort, the application, the work rate was spot on from the mm. one. So, same as on Saturday. Absolute full credit to the boys, full credit to the, the manager and the coaching staff. Uh, they thoroughly deserve that. It was 8-0 uh, and it could have been, like the boys said, it could have been double figures. Mm. Oh, that was superb, like, for the Whitton Town players. They put in a really good shift in and took the goals brilliantly. Like, 8-0 <laughs> is unbelievable. And <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time coming to get the biggest win in years as a Whitton Town supporter it's been amazing isn't it yeah we're off on the other side of this aren't we a full time thoughts one ring what went wrong whatever but today we're flawless and we thoroughly deserve it right we go on with and also you know we beat Felix though last weekend and this result just proves that we've got good players in the squad that can play can't they we've carried the momentum on from that game tonight could have been a difficult game for us they're, they're no mugstone market they're a big club you know they're just going for a tough patch aren't they so and we've taken advantage we're ruthless Thank you guys so much for your time and on the top! We turn a massive everywhere we go! We turn a massive everywhere we go! Everywhere we go! Yes! Oh! Everywhere we go! Watch it, mighty Whitton! I'm now with the Whitton Town manager, Gary Kimball. All right, James. Good, thank you. What was your thoughts on the game against Stone Market Town? <laughs> yeah, not bad, mate, was it? 8-0. <laughs> what a great result, eh? That was a fantastic result, and the Whitton Town supporters have been amazing, and we supported you throughout the whole 90 minutes, 100%, and I supported you, as always, Throughout the 90 minutes and the previous matches, I supported you 100%. And um, and we're on to the next game. And and it's exciting times for the Whitton Town Football Club. Yeah, at the end of the day, James, you can't get carried away. All right, we've just got to keep our uh, feet on the ground and take the next game on Friday to mm. uh, Grace. Yeah, it's going to be a different uh, cat of fish on Friday. But at the end of the day, tonight, we'll enjoy it. 8-0, mm. good result. At the end of the day, if we won 1-0, I'd be happy. 8-0 mm. was a good result. Takes the uh, little bit of pressure off us. Uh, but then at the end of the day, goal difference is the key. Uh, so, yeah, happy tonight. And hopefully we'll go again Friday and up with Sam. 
Thank you so much for your time, Gary, and up the town. Cheers, James. Thank you very much. Thanks. Cheers. So here you go. <laughs> I've never, ever expected to win 8-0 with this. Is just, I didn't expect that scoreline. It, it was a big, big surprise that it was one of the biggest win of a season for Whitton Town. It was like... Um, but yeah, I'm so proud for the boys of Whitton Town and the players and the um, staff and especially for our Whitton Town manager, Gary Kimball. And, um, and like Gary said, we're not going to get too carried away and we're still a long way to go in the season. And But yeah, this is a fantastic win for Whitton Town. 8-0. It was unexpected. But, but yeah, I'm extremely proud for the Whitton Town players putting a... Brilliant shift in, and um, I'm going to have to say massive commiserations to Stowe Market Town and um, for their eight 0 defeat. I feel really sorry for them, and um, and I wish them well in the season, and look forward to seeing them at their place this season. And um, but yeah, i have just got to say hard luck to Stowe Market Town and commiserations to them, and. Um, Unlucky for them, and and like I said, I wish them well for the season. Look forward to seeing them at their place later on this season. And but this is all about Whitton Town. That was the fantastic biggest win for Whitton Town in many many years. It was the biggest ever win for Whitton Town, and our Whitton Town supporters were absolutely superb throughout the whole ninety minutes. We didn't stop singing throughout the whole ninety minutes. Got behind the players. And especially for our Whitton Town manager, Gary Kimball, 100%. And we supported him. And I've always supported Gary Kimball, 100%. Because, like, I know Gary very well. Because he went in for his first full term as Whitton Town manager, 2011 to 2016. Won two promotions, one in 2012 and 2014. And since he came back in his second full term... I have full confidence in Gary Kimball because, I, because like, I, like I said, I know Gary very well and I have full confidence in Gary Kimball and we're going to continue supporting him 150% and, um, and I'm really proud for the players to put 150% in. And in fact, as it's not 150%, it's a thousand percent that the Whitton Town players put in. I am really, really proud as a whole of the Whitton Town Football Club putting a famous history of the fantastic 8-0 victory. Uh, we didn't expect that coming because like, because I predicted 4-0 and mine's out the window. But the most important thing is we've got the win. Three wins in a row. 8-0 at the end. That was absolutely superb. And there's some good times ahead for Whitton Town. And, and I did say it from the start earlier on this season. I'm positive for Gary Kimball and he's he turned us around into victories and I'm really proud for the players and I am especially really proud for our Whitton Town manager Gary Kimball. I have full support as always. Full support for Gary Kimball and he's a fantastic guy and it was brilliant and I'm, I couldn't be any prouder. I'm proud for the Whitton Town Football Club for the staff, the fans, myself, and every single one of us at the football club put in a great shift in tonight. 8 0 victory. Um, I'm so proud for everyone at the Whitton Town Football Club. I'm, I'm really, really proud. And um, it's been a long, long time getting the biggest win for Whitton Town. And like I said, it's all about Whitton Town tonight. And. Um, but like Gary said, we're not going to get too carried away because we've got a long way to go this season. And we turned it around into victories. Three wins in a row. 4-0 win away at Ilford in the Essex Senior Cup third round. 3-2 win against Felix Stone and Walter United last Saturday. And now 8-0 Whitton Town against Stone Market Town. And like I said... Commiserations to Stone Market Town. I feel really sorry for them, and um, and I hope your win will soon come. And I wish you all very well, and wish you all the very best, and for their supporters as well. And um, and and I hope your win 
will soon come for your team. And um, But yeah, this is all about Whitton Town with a fantastic win. And roll on to the next game. Hope you all enjoyed today's Whitton Town FC match day vlog. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment down below on my YouTube channel, James Beardwell. Whitton Town's next match is away to Grays Athletic on Friday, the 1st of December. Get in there! Yes! Get in! <laughs>